Hi, I'm Simon from The Unboxing and today I'm making a real versus fake Fidget Cube video 2.0. I'm making this video because I got a lot of comments on my previous one which got around 8000 views right now and a lot of comments. And comments saying I didn't know the difference between a real Fidget Cube and a fake Fidget Cube. So I have some comments over here, someone saying exotic cucumber, the one you think is fake is actually real since you can't tell because of the joystick how it is out. Yes, you can tell which one is a different one because the joystick is out on the fake one. The joystick on the fake one over here is out and you can also press it. But on the real one, these four ones are the real ones. This one, for example, that's the uh, gamer cube. You can see that the joystick is all the way down and you can't press it. So this is the difference. Facts. There is no fake or real fidget cube, it's just the quality are different. Well, he also said that I, I was an idiot, but he edited his comment, so thank you for that. But there actually is a real fidget cube, and that's this one from Ansi Labs. It's from Kickstarter, they are the guys who invented this thing. And these knockoffs came after this one. So you can see it on the spinner over here. That it's a real Fidget Cube with the ANSI Labs logo in the middle over here and the brand Fidget Cube on uh, the bottom. Okay, but now very quick, what are the biggest differences between the fake and the real Fidget Cube? Well, first off, the uh, delivery date will be very, very long. You'll have to wait a very long time to receive your real Fidget Cube from ANSI Labs because it's a pre-order and it's uh, set for in one of these months and a lot of people are waiting to receive theirs so i would recommend if you're not a person who likes to wait to buy a fake one because the fake ones are getting better and better each day and i promise you you won't regret it look and feel in the beginning i thought the fake one had a better feeling because the plastic has a little more grip than the real one this is the real one this is the dice color and yeah, overall, I would say the fake one has a better feeling. So, one fidget point to the fake one. Oh, this is a big one. The price, well, that's easy. One point for the fake one, again. Because, yeah, the price for a fake one is like $5 when the price for a real one is uh, now, I think, $21 or $22 or something, which is actually a lot for something like this, but manufacturing, pretty good. The spinners on the top, just for sound, real one, fake one. Overall, the uh, spinners, the spinner wheels on the top are, make a cooler noise on the fake one, but are way better on the real one. So I'll give that point to the real one. Metal ball beneath that on the real one, you can't press it. It's a little higher on the real one. And you can also press the button of the real fidget cube. So I'll give that point to the real fidget cube. Good. Not good. It doesn't click. Look. Real one. Fake one. No. Point for the real one. Then we have the spinners, I guess it's called. On the fake one, they took a long time to turn a little bit, but as you can see, I have to really <laughs> try to turn because with one hand, it's almost impossible on the fake one. But on the real one, you can keep turning, as you can see. Point for the real one. The clicky buttons, this is a big one because they get different uh, on which fake one you buy. So with mine, these buttons are all the same. They have the same feel, they press the same way. So no difference over there, but on the real one, you have two hard buttons on the side, as you can hear. You have the middle one is a little less loud. And then uh, the other side ones are, don't make a sound. These are just when you want to be in class, press those buttons. You can see that here. I'm pressing them.
doesn't make a sound. So, just because it has so many different abilities, real one. The joystick, well, this is also a very interesting one because on the fake one, you can press the joystick, which, which is actually pretty cool and, and, and neat. I'm giving each one a point because you can press this one, you can't press this one, this one glides better, this one doesn't. So, each one a point. And then the last one, the breathing side or soothing stone as some of you might call it. Well, I don't actually know what the purpose is of this side, but I guess the real one is the better side because on the fake one, it's you can't, you, you almost can't feel it. When on the real one, of course, you can. And if you just look at the two devices, you'll see on the real one, the right one, the white one, it's a lot, a lot deeper than on the fake one. So, point for the real one. And then last one, to get to those 10 points, we have durability. Well, I would say the durability of the real one is better than the durability of the fake one, but I actually have no problem with both of them. I've always used uh, the real one the last two or three months. That it's all. There's only always one in my pocket. But I'll give each one a point because I didn't have any problems whatsoever with the fake or the real one. Conclusion: Well, if you like to wait, you should buy. And if you want to spend twenty dollars. You should buy a real fidget cube because it has more points than the fake one. But if you don't have time, you don't have money, buy a fake one. It's the same purpose. It will be a little less quality, but you'll still have your fidget cube. All right, I want to thank you for watching this video. And let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions or which one you bought, the real one or the fake one. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.